What's up everyone, my name is Vincent and today I want to look at a few literal equations. So we're going to go through these four examples here and let's get started. So for the first question here we're solving for y and our equation is y plus a is equal to 4a. Now this question is probably as easy as they come but if we're solving for the variable y all we want is this term here then all we have to do to solve for y is subtract a on both sides. 4a minus 1a is 3a. So we can combine these terms because they're like terms. So for the first question, y is equal to 3a. Now for the second question here, things are a little bit trickier. We're still solving for y, but now there's way more variables involved. So remember the goal is to get y by itself. So the move is to just keep doing the inverse operation of everything that's attached to y. So first I would want to get rid of this r. and this r is attached by addition, so we're just going to subtract it on both sides. Now, what makes these questions, I guess, a little bit tricky is that for some of them, none of the terms actually combine. Like t minus r doesn't really simplify to anything, so we just call it t minus r. But remember, the goal is still to solve for y. So then the last thing we need to do to get rid of this, this is s times y. We're going to divide by s on both sides. And this tells us that y is equal to t minus r over s. Okay, for this question here, we're still solving for y, but now notice that the y terms are on both sides of the equal sign. So what we want to do is we want to get everything that has a y attached to it on one side and all the other non-y terms on the other side. So what we could do is we'll start by moving the 4y to the left. So we're going to subtract 4y on both sides. And what we have left here is now 5y minus 24a is equal to 6a. So then to get rid of this minus 24a, we're going to add 24a to both sides. And now what we have is 5y equals, and these are like terms, so we could do 6 plus 24 is 30, so we have 30a. And then all we have to do to solve for y, to get rid of that times 5, we're going to divide by 5. So 5 over 5 cancels, and now we have y equals 30 divided by 5 is 6, so we have y is equal to 6 times a. Okay, now this last question here is probably as bad as these get. So we have a fraction, we have y's on one side, but in order to get rid of this fraction, what we're going to want to do here is cross multiply. So we have 2y times 3x plus 1 equals, and then on the other product we have 2x minus 1 times 5y plus 1. So we're going to need to distribute first to create a better looking equation. So we have 2y times 3x is 6xy plus 2y when we multiply 2y times 1. And this is now equal to, we'll distribute the 2x. So 2x times 5y is 10xy. And then 2x times 1 is 2x. So then next we'll distribute the negative 1. So negative 1 times 5y is negative 5y. And then negative 1 times positive 1 is negative 1. So if we look at this step, now we have to look for where are all the y terms. And this counts as a y term. 6xy has a, a y attached to it. So that's something that we need to focus on. So these four terms here, 6xy, 2y, 10xy and minus 5y all belong on one side of the equation together and everything else belongs on the other side. So we're going to subtract 10xy on both sides. And in one step we could also add 5y to both sides. So now the right side will get a little bit simpler. These terms cancel and these terms cancel. But now when we get to the next line, 6 minus 10 is negative 4xy. See, these are like terms, so we just add the coefficients. And then 2y plus 5y is 7y. Once again, these are like terms. And then on the right side, all we have left is 2x 
minus 1. And it may not seem like we accomplished much, but the left side has a common y term that can now be factored out. So we're going to factor out this y. And we're left with negative 4x plus 7. And this is equal to 2x minus 1. So then all we have to do here to solve this, we're going to divide both sides by negative 4x plus 7. And our final answer to the last question, we have y equals 2x minus 1 over negative 4x plus 7. And one last thing I'll comment on before we end here is that you, some people may have decided to do minus 6xy minus 2y on both sides. And if you solve it that way, you'll get a slightly different looking answer, but it's the same answer. So just know that this is our final answer. But if you solve it a different way, once again, moving the 6xy and 2y over instead of the 10xy and negative 5y, well, your answer is going to come out different, but it's still equal to this answer here. So to see what it would be, if I multiply the top and bottom of our answer by negative 1, I'm still going to get an equivalent fraction here. But now I'll have a negative 2x and a positive 1 over a positive 4x and a minus 7. So just know that this answer here is also equivalent to this answer. All right, We could also say 1 minus 2x over 4x minus 7. So any sort of rearrangement here is okay. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on solving literal equations. If you found this video to be helpful, please click the like and subscribe buttons. It really helps me grow the channel. And if you got any requests, just leave the topics in the comments section below. And thank you for watching.